Good morning guys, how are you guys? Today I'm doing an impromptu thrift trip. We went to three different places. I don't know how this happened. I wasn't supposed to thrift today at all. So I am filming on my phone today because I didn't bring my camera. And also I like really don't like my makeup today. I did green eyeshadow, but I didn't like really do my face makeup properly. So it just like, it's not really working out. So ignore that. But anyways, I was supposed to go downtown today and just go shopping at like Nordstrom and stuff because my birthday is coming up in February and I'm doing this whole thing with this hotel and I need to take pictures. We're going to have a photo shoot and everything and I just need a dress. I need a nice dress and I've been really struggling and I'm starting to get stressed out because I've been looking online nonstop for the past two weeks and I literally can't find anything. Like sometimes I will stumble across something that is nice. It ends up being like $500 or a thousand and I just can't afford that. I just realized I probably won't even end up buying anything from Nordstrom or Holt Renfrew. So instead we're gonna go thrifting near me and I'm gonna hit some thrift stores I haven't been to before. So we're looking for a dress and then we're also looking for hiking boots because on the trip I'm going on, I will be going hiking and I also just like how they look. I wanna wear them like on the daily too. And I want them to be brown, they're pretty specific what i'm looking for so hopefully we find it i'm gonna try thrifting it first but if i can't i'm just gonna buy it online so yeah we're looking for boots and a dress and hopefully we find it um just another thing i ate candy for breakfast and i feel like shit anyways i'm gonna stop blabbering and i will see you guys at the thrift store i'm really excited let's hope 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 we find something let's go hello guys we're at a new thrift store today i've never been here but the first impression i had from it was that it was packed with stuff and super messy and super busy the first thing i ran into was this jacket it was pretty cute there was a lot of cool jackets here to be honest i didn't really need a jacket but i still looked and still picked up some leather as usual to put in my cart and not purchase typical me but this brown leather jacket with this beige fur was pretty cute in my opinion so i decided to try it on and we were on the hunt for those hiking boots and i found these they're not really hiking boots okay honestly i was getting kind of grossed out by the shoes here because they were super super worn out then i found these hiking boots again pretty worn out not exactly what i was looking for and then i came across these brand new sandals they're made in brazil full leather and i thought they were very unique so i definitely picked those up the dresses the clothes here were very questionable in my opinion they were unique for sure but questionable for my style personally but i decided to try some things on especially in the beginning the first things i was finding were a little bit out of my comfort zone personally and not really what i was looking for but if you were into a more unique style, there was a lot of stuff, including this long black dress from this cool brand. There was lots of crochet stuff, which I appreciated. And then I went into the sleeping section, kind of the bra section and corset section. I found this black dress. It was this nice slip dress. It was very good quality, nice and clean. And then I found this red corset. It was kind of cute, so I decided to pick it up. This other corset was very, very cute. And I love the little bow detailings on it. I didn't really get to try on a lot of stuff here because i wasn't wearing the right outfit and because this was just like an impromptu thrift trip it wasn't really i wasn't prepared i tried on this colorful dress and honestly i feel like i should have saw the vision when i was trying it on but i didn't but now looking back it could have actually been a really really cute dress for going out and it's super unique this matching set was also super unique and it was sheer i just didn't love the high low detailings on it if you know what i mean next i went into the fabric section because I had this crazy idea of using some like fabric or blanket to make a cool dress or garment with it listen i don't know how to sew i have a little bit of practice from during quarantine i bought a sewing machine but i by no means am a seamstress so watch out for the video it may or may not come because it depends on how good my skill level gets then i found this crochet dress i thought it was so cute and perfect i started stumbling into better stuff at this point there was some cute purses you know i always say if you don't find anything just stay a little bit longer and you will this dress is also cute such cute purses i love them i actually didn't end up getting any of them because i was kind of just being a little bit more cautious about what i was taking home with me this time but 
nonetheless they were super cute so that's it for this thrift trip i ended up getting the crochet dress and the leather sandals and that was about it hey guys so it's a couple days later we actually didn't end up going to three thrift stores we just went to one and that thrift store was hella hectic i didn't really like it it was so messy so today we're gonna go to one of our regular places and see what we find i think I really want hiking boots. So if I can find some cute and good condition hiking boots, we are getting that. So let's go in and see what we find. In today's video, you guys get two thrift trips in one. So it's a special day. I was still on the hunt for those hiking boots. So you know, the first place I went was the shoes this time. First off, I found these Reebok shoes. I thought they were kind of cool and had potential. And then I saw these just laying on the ground and I thought maybe they could work. I know they're super scuffed. We went to the dress section because as I said, I wanted some dresses for my birthday. I found this black, amazing, breathtaking dress. And then the sparkly one right after. And then there there was this gorgeous gorgeous red one that you guys are about to see in just a second just wait this is a gorgeous red dress it was super long perfect for valentine's day coming up i ended up going to the shorts which i never do because you know i'm going on vacation i thought these reebok ones were pretty cute but they were just way too expensive like almost 20 bucks for reebok shorts that are used so we went to the skirt section next i found this camo skirt not bad but pretty big and then this jean skirt just kind of stood out with me for the pockets and it was very very thin denim material which i appreciated about it and and it was only five dollars so you know i had to pick it up then this corset was very very beautiful put that straight into the cart knew it was going to be too small for me though but you know i still had to try it and then we went through the tops didn't really find much in the top section today except for this red hooded i guess muscle tee i don't know i guess it's a tank top with a hood i don't know what you would call it this was kind of cool and then i found this dolce and gabbana shirt you know i picked that up very very cute Went to the jacket section, this was pretty cute. This was also pretty cute, but didn't end up getting either of them. Just because, as I said, I'm over winter. We're getting out of the winter season soon enough and I'm not really trying to buy more jackets this season. So, you know, we still try it on though. And then I decided to go to the kids section for once and I found this Hello Kitty top, which was very, very cute. And then this was all the stuff I ended up with to try on, starting with this DNG tank top. It was very, very cute. I love that it was Dolce & Gabbana, so I ended up getting it. This, I fell in love with right away. I just really like the style of that shirt and the hood just really pushes it over the edge. The Hello Kitty shirt was just a little too small, for sure. The arms are really tight and this hardly went on me, so I'm not even gonna bother showing you guys how it went. And then this skirt I got, you can either wear it just like long and low waisted like this and it was $5 so I could not say no to this or you could crop it and make it into a mini skirt and it just fit good. I just love the fabric of it. It was so relaxed. This was just a little too big. I almost bought it, but I just knew it was just a little too long and big. This dress, I really wish worked out, but I didn't end up getting it because as you can see under the armpits, it's a little loose. These were the shoes I found on the floor. I wasn't really feeling them to be honest. And then these Reeboks were pretty cute. I couldn't decide, but I just ended up leaving them because I just wasn't sure. But I feel like they have potential for sure. What do you guys think? I'd love to know your opinion. This jacket was very cute and up my alley. I almost put it down and then I called my boyfriend and asked for his opinion and he said, no, pick it up because if you don't take it, I will. This dress was a little much for me even though it was cute and it was quite pricey. It was like 30 bucks because it was gas. And then this is the dress that takes my breath away every time. The extreme low back, the front, just everything about it. And as I was about to leave Valley Village, I saw my dream hiking boots guys you don't know how happy i was i'm just so happy i can't believe i manifested this for myself we didn't stop there we headed to the purse section one last time and i found this black purse which was very cute and then shortly after i found this crochet bag and it was colorful and everything and the reason i got this was because it would be a really cute standout accessory and it was only two dollars so i was like it's just worth it for the beach and stuff so i got that and then this crochet bag was really cute too but if you guys saw my last video dorsa got me a beige crochet bag so i was like i really don't need to so i left it even though it was so cute and the details on it were really great too this thrift trip ended up going very well unfortunately i don't have a haul in this video but a bigger haul will be coming soon so love you guys and i will see you guys in the next video bye